Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. I am in the 17th century spice market in Istanbul, Turkey. Quite an amazing place. And of course, I'm having my first cup of real Turkish coffee. And I've been munching away on this fabulous Turkish delight. Yes. More? Yes. More. Oh my gosh. Yes, we like to eat Turkish delight with, with Turkish. The, with the it's together. They are a couple. It works for me. They are a couple. Yeah. They are in honeymoon. <laughs> it's a perfect honeymoon. Anyway, um, among other fabulous Turkish recipes, one thing I want to go home to my Ohio kitchen and make is something called chicken tava with potatoes. It is actually kind of a tomato crusted chicken. Very interesting. So enjoy as I walk around a little bit more of this unbelievably colorful spice market. Are you going to do surgery? Istanbul was a fascinating city to visit. I guess I didn't know what to expect going there. You know, you always see that one picture of the blue mosque in the middle of the city. Well, Istanbul is huge. It is just teeming with with people and restaurants and flowers and beautiful carpet stores, which I'll show you the carpet I bought there. Chicken tava is a dish that we enjoyed there. Now, typically it is served more like a stew, but I'm going to do more of a roasted chicken tava. It's fantastic and it's very easy to put together. I have four large boneless skinless chicken breasts that I'm going to season very well. Okay, I'm going to set these aside for a moment. Then I'm going to make this fabulous um, tomato coating on the top, starting with tomato paste. I want to use about three tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm going to add five cloves of crushed garlic, lots of garlic. three tablespoons of softened butter. And a couple of spices. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon.
and half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I'm going to mush all of this together. And then I just want to thin this a little bit with maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of water. A lot of intense flavors are right there. Now I take my chicken and I'm going to evenly divide this tomato paste mixture on each one. And spread it all over the top. Cover it. And we're going to bake it in a 375 degree oven for half an hour. While the chicken is baking, I'm going to steam about two and a half, three pounds of red potatoes. And I cut them in uh, a dice. I would call it a large dice. So it's like this. Put them in my steamer. And this goes on the stove for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go to the oven remove the cover from the chicken we're going to pop it back in the oven so we can get that tomato crust for about 10 to 15 minutes. And now I'm going to play with my potatoes. My potatoes are nice and tender. So I'm going to take my pot over here. Dump the water out. Turn the potatoes to the pot. And we're going to make them absolutely delicious. Okay, I have a low flame going on the potatoes. Add just half a cup of chicken stock. Those potatoes will absorb that flavor. I'm going to season it with half a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. And the most important ingredient, this saffron I purchased at the spice market in Istanbul. And, of course, in Turkey they say, this is the finest in the world. I'm going to take a big pinch of this Turkish saffron, the world's most expensive spice. I'm going to put it in there. And then just stir my potatoes around. Oh my gosh. So simple. The potatoes are going to absorb that chicken stock and the saffron, and they're going to turn a beautiful shade of yellow. All right, let's serve up this Turkish chicken tava. OK, 
Okay, we'll put this bed of saffron potatoes down. Arrange the chicken on top of that. Wow, tell me this doesn't look like an amazing meal. I'm going to take a nip of the chicken and I'm going to take some saffron potatoes. This is unbelievable. Between the tomato glaze and the saffron potatoes, it has this wonderful exotic taste, but not too much. And this is what I brought home from Istanbul. I don't like